Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool, enjoy the video. Uh, but yeah, for the convention stuff, so, I've been going, I guess this this might as well be the fucking video thing for it, and <laughs> fitting music, I suppose, too. I didn't mean to get that. Oh, damn it, whatever. Not like I need it anyway. Been going to them for a super long time, and it's usually a bunch of nerds versus socially awkward people, and are just wanting an excuse to be free and stuff. But over the years, and especially after the pandemic, there's been a lot of people who have an annoying yearning to be the center of attention at all times. I understand from one angle, like like if you've never had a bunch of eyes on you the first time it happens, you want that to happen more and more. But when it gets to a point of people acting like they are the convention themselves and everyone needs to like huff the stank ass breath that comes out their mouths and shit, that's a problem at. And more so on the rave aspect because they will be maneuvering and dancing in a way where it's like all eyes are on me and they have to be on me whereas instead of just moving and dancing and shaking ass to have a good time type shit you feel because i've been going to non-anime themed raves more than i have anime raves so i know the difference right away and stuff and especially when it, when it gets to like you know people asking whether it be verbal or non-verbal to dance with someone or people who's trying to maneuver on the dance floor or rave etiquette or dance etiquette whichever term you want to use a lot of people don't really abide by that and it's really frustrating sometimes because when you go to a place an event like that priority number one having a good time that's priority number one above all else I understand that everyone has their own individual definitions of a good time, but when it comes at the cost of impacting other people's good time in a negative way, that's why I'm like, hey, you kind of tweaking. Maybe stop, okay? There have been a lot of instances, especially at the anime themed ones, where people just get way too caught up in their own hype and they ruin the experience of other people i can't begin to tell you the amount of times where i've had people come to me talking about oh yeah it was good but this and this and that happened and kind of fuck with my experience or i didn't have a good time because of xyz and whatever and it wouldn't be due to anxiety or anything of the sort it would just be because people are assholes and you can't really do much about people being assholes outside of telling them stop being an asshole it's moments like that and then moments of like mean girl or mean guy type shit at events and it's just like what's your fucking problem dude we're here to dance we're here to sweat we're here to enjoy some music and you're getting in the way of that why to also add this into like conventions and stuff even with cosplay and all that you know i've been cosplaying for a while not professionally just for fun of course but i see people who claim to be doing cosplay just for fun but they're like, they're acting like they're high tier cosplayers need to be booked in shit. You know, the people who walk into a party and they try to take over a party that ain't theirs. People who go around saying, well, I know so-and-so and I know this person, I know that person. When they fucking don't, they're just using their name to try to get ahead of the rest. And that's also not cool. The purpose of a convention, in my opinion, is to just be around a bunch of fucking nerds. That's what we are at the end of the day. We're a bunch of nerds with some level of a mutual interest. Just go operate based off that. And some people are incapable of doing that, unfortunately. Which leads to fights and drama and other bullshit that really shouldn't be going on at a convention. N nevertheless, you also have people who, because I mentioned earlier, people go to stuff like social anxiety and they just want to get out and stuff. You have people who want to, you know, spit some game or talk to someone and get to know someone and they either don't really have the tool set for that or the person that they want to talk to is invested in someone else and they're mad because they can't get that same attention which leads to a whole slurry of problems that if i start talking about it now i'm gonna get mad <laughs> so over the years and i don't want to say the wrong kinds of people for the majority because there have been definitely the wrong kinds of people 
going to conventions and shit. The people who, I guess you could say, peaked in high school or peaked way too early on are the ones going to stuff like this and fucking with other people's experiences, you know? It's something that I've observed for a long time, especially having gone to um, conventions like out of state and stuff or even going to conventions outside of my usual city, my usual area, people people have some really weird motion, for real. And when enough people have really weird and negative motion, that's when the whole energy of something starts to change for the worse, right? Because there are people who are known for, in the convention circle, rather, who are, like, known for throwing parties and stuff, not, like, them as, like, cool people for the majority, or them being, like, a really good cosplayer, or them being, like, encouraging, whatever, it's just, oh, this person throws really good parties, that's about it, but unfortunately, um, since I have been going to anime convention parties, the people who are known only for throwing really good parties also are, like, super, super shady, dude, and, like, some real bad shit tends to happen at those individual parties and stuff. Or you have people who are like known for putting together really good cosplays, but are also just like actual assholes, dude. And that again ties all back into the whole popularity angle of it. But events like those, the goal should not be Mr. Miss or in between popular. Just go and have fun, dude. That's it. That's all that should matter having fun but some people don't know how to fucking do that and that really really sucks because i remember in my early days of going to conventions it was constant smiles all around wasn't no bad vibes that i noticed anyway uh people was thriving popping doing whatever uh helping each other fix people's cosplays on the spot even for some total stranger type shit you know people grouping up to go out to eat and you just met that person like five minutes ago type shit Nowadays, it's like there's not so much of that open and free as compared to back then. It's still there, don't get me wrong, but it's like less of an occurrence because there are people who will meet someone and just be like, yo, you trying to hang out like tomorrow or you want to hit this party with me type shit. Like I, I the most of the friends that I have, I've met at conventions on that same type of energy. Like one of my one of my uh, friend groups now that's literally how we fucking met you know met at a party and we've just been hanging out ever since and it's it's about to have been like a year since we've been hanging out for real and we just met at a party one night and that's all it took <laughs> that's all it took i love moments like those and i wish more people could have more moments like those but unfortunately you also have to keep in mind that a lot of people that go to anime conventions are shady fucking people. They do not go there with the best of intentions. They do not go there with the intention of having fun. It's people who go there specifically to try and get some tail. It's people who go there specifically to fuck with people. It's go to people who go there specifically to like steal and shit, dude. It's so fucked. Some people's mentalities of going to conventions. And, you know, I understand that everything cannot be the glory halcyon days of Eld, but this, this, this rising negativity that's been going on in conventions over the last few years is, like, I don't like it. And I wish I could do something about it, but that's so tall of an order that it, that, that this, like, actually delusional to even attempt trying to do some shit like that and like make it stick you know but i still love conventions to the highest the highest of orders because if i didn't well why the fuck would i be going to them all the time but it's it's, it's really the people aspect for me and which is funny because you know i'm on record for saying both in streams and i believe in some videos where i'm like yeah i fucking hate people Fuck them. Get them away from me. But yet, at the same time, I'm constantly go <laughs> constantly going to parties, conventions, and raves for the people. You know? Shit's cool, man. Shit's really, really fucking cool. And I honestly can't get enough of them. I, I, I really, really, really can't. Because it's like... It, it's also one of the few things that I genuinely look forward to throughout the year. 
like the the same level of uh, of excitement that people have for their birthdays or Christmases or whatever. That's what I have for anime conventions and raves. Even if I'm hitting them back to back to back, I'm still probably the happiest or like the second happiest motherfucker in the room or in the venue or whatever. J just like Yeast 8. Them shits mean something to me, man. They really, really do. Not to get all uh, giga sentimental and stuff, but th those things really helped me through some hard times in my life, man. They really, really did. And I would not, I damn sure wouldn't be the person I am now if I hadn't gotten into those. You know, it, it's real important. Real, real important to me. Think it's a growth thing? Eh, yeah, yeah it, it, it's definitely, definitely a growth thing. Because I know people who have been slamming anime conventions and raves as long as I have. And they have gone towards the dark side. And I've also seen conventions like be at the top of the top of the top. And then they just take a severe nosedive into the bullshit. Just like this one convention I've been going to for basically my whole life is in the fucking trenches and has been in the trenches for a long fucking time and it's other conventions that i've gone to that have dove into the trenches and are still not out of the fucking trenches and shit dude and it, th th there's so so many things that go into it but above all else it's the people it's the it's, it's the people and a lot of people's fucked ass mindsets that bring good things down, sadly. But for the amount of like crazy ass people and bad people that go to this shit, there's like six, seven, eight cool, happy, positive motherfuckers that go to this shit with the intention of having a good time and helping someone else have a good time. Like one of one of my personal goals every time I go to a convention is to help someone else have a good time in whatever way that may be, right? I go whenever I go to a convention, I leave a convention with at least one more person that I will eventually be able to call a real friend, you know? Like that that's the goal. That is the goal for real. It's been that way since I've been going to conventions actually. I know a lot of people because of conventions. I'm more cautious normally, but having someone in the convention that is known for parties, like if it's really widespread and all that's nice, sure. But to me, cons are full of gullible people and the idea of them going to some dude's party sounds like pine up. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. The, like, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I have unfortunately bore witness and thankfully helped resolve like bad situations at parties and stuff like like for I'm, I'm not gonna say i'm like super known in the convention circuit at least not like statewide or whatever but for the ones that i go to people know me because i'm not with that bullshit like people will specifically call me up and be like yo i might need you to be a bouncer at this party i'm running or yo it's this one motherfucker that i've been hearing shit about could you like you know maybe you know, do something about them type shit. Like, people know me for, like, safety reasons. Because I'll tell motherfuckers straight up, hey, if you're on that bullshit, I'll beat your ass. And then continue having a good time. You know? Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not with that fuck shit, dude. I'm not with it at all. If I, if I even sense that someone's fucking skeevy at a party, I'm on, like, full, full on ass beaten mode until that motherfucker is gone right I, I i i fucking i can't stand concrete like pe people if i'm not the person notifying other people of concretes it's people coming to me about concretes and it's like yo if you see this motherfucker you know is it's hands on sight type shit it, it's it's real bad that's why you know you got you got the buddy system, you know, hold on to your drink, be safe and stuff like that. Cause I, I let people know straight up. I'm like, yo, hey, if you need someone to like walk around with to be safe with, hit me up. I got you. You know? 
you know, I got you, my gang got you, my gang's gang got you, I know staff, I know, like, I know more people than what people think I know, and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything, but it's just, you know, you build up a reputation if you go to a certain type of event for so long, and the goal, again, is to have a good reputation, because I know so many people who are on, like, multiple blacklists and like watch lists for cons and stuff I know a lot of people not personally I just know of people who are on those lists and they're on those lists for good fucking reasons